Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the VOS 3.0 based on Android 10. It's ported from the Wii Smart Life for a Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5. Yeah. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, this is VOS OEM ported ROM from the Wii Smart Life device. Uh, let's take a look. I can see VOS 3.0 logo going into software information, Android 10. Here you can see Android 10 and the 1 June 2020 security patch and it has the extended kernel the latest one now let's take a look at the features of the v smart os now first is the launcher as we start from the home screen you can see it's totally snappy there are no lag issues also the scrolling effect is nice then here on the left side you get the google now option too now we have the options to customize here you can see into settings and this is how the settings here look for yeah just similar to the usb uh, launcher the normal google launcher and you can see you have the transition effect too and we also have a beautiful widget info which will show you whether your uh, date your uh, day and the location the air quality index to the air quality and temperature so that's really nice so guys this rom is fully deep loaded as you can see we don't see a lot of apps from the oem so only contact call clock and this info is there and yeah that's much restricted now the previous one had a lot of v smart apps and the previous version and it has been debloated and a lot of smoothness and performance tweaks has been added into this so that's great also the gallery app is oneplus so yeah like just some stuff from oneplus also it has a oneplus widget here just forgot to show you that the oneplus home screen widget so if you like it you can just uh, install it easily install or you can just place it here so guys this is the settings UI and you can see it's totally clean and it looks really nice also these icons varies from the AOSP then going to display we have all the same stuff dark theme and all that all and always on display is glitchy so do not turn it on it is really weird it does not uh, maybe it, the clock just disappears and then stops working mm -hmm. and then also you cannot double tap to wake so you have to force up with the power button so yeah just don't use it or use any other app it's not recommended actually on the lcd screen but yeah if you're really hungry then fingerprint sensor it's working fine too but there is a glitch in the lock screen it gets dim so i don't know uh, let me tell you it works fine you can see gets inputted properly and you can see the lock screen gets dim because of this so maybe it's because of this but i don't know if like the lock screen totally gets dim on fod devices but yeah, it gets dim here, so you have to use it like this or just uh, remove fingerprint. And the lock screen is back. I don't have any other options like other features in this other options. You can see into battery, this icon and all changes are there. And into gestures, we have the normal gesture, the tap to wake, three finger gesture. Also three finger gesture has a glitch in games. So yeah, just avoid it into games. And if you're playing games, just disable it. And then jump to camera and other flip to touch, uh, flip to mute and flip to lock, not flip to touch, what am I reading? Oof. So yeah, these are the gestures available and that is all for the features of this uh, VOS. So guys, if you want to try something new, like it's based on AOSP, so there is no issues with battery and other stuff. Also, you can play your favorite games like PUBG and all, but just, just disable the three finger gesture or you will have the issues on the game. So yeah, just do it. And you are all fine to use this OS. There are some glitches, but yeah, this is OEM port, so they may have some modifications which you cannot even alter, or maybe you can, but yeah, it's not that easy. So, yep, uh, that's it uh, for the V OS, which is uh, the V Smart OS, V Smart Live port for a Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI. And that's it. I'm not going to show the installation because it's totally easy. Just a zip, wipe your older ROM, first backup, then wipe, and yeah. Now just flash the zip and for root access you can flash magisk stable after the device boots of course. So yeah that's it if you guys really like this video oof, press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe for more videos and yeah if you have any feedback just post it down below in the comment section I will just reply it easily. So yeah guys uh, please stay safe the corona crisis is just going up and up and up it's not stopping so no idea when it stops so please take care of your own stay safe and stay at your home till then bye bye